Hello, my name is Tom Felton from YouTube Premium's new show, Origin. Today, I shall be answering some fan questions out of this rather delightful looking cup. Emma Watson revealed her first crush was you while filming the first two Harry Potter films. Was the crush mutual? Let's move on, come on now, there's no need for this. Now, we've been very good friends for a very long time. Just leave it at that. Would you ever reprise your role as Draco Malfoy if the opportunity presented it? Of course, definitely. What did you enjoy the most about your time on set filming The Flash? Uh, getting dancing lessons from Grant Gustin. He's a good mover and a groover and a, and a fun chat to be with. So he was, uh, he would give me lessons. I haven't danced since, it's rather tragic. What drew you to the role of Logan in Origin? In which ways are you similar to him? Well, we look alike. We have the same colored eyes. Logan and I are very diff different people. I think he comes from a rather broken family with rather crap friends. Um, and Tom is quite the opposite. What drew me to it was the sort of multinational aspect of the show, the fact that it kind of goes around the globe in, in all uh, 10 episodes. And Mika Watkins, our fearless showrunner and writer. She was um, instrumental in getting me on board. Not only is she a lovely person, she's also furiously talented. Did you take anything from the Harry Potter set? Technically, no. I'm not going to tell you more because I still want Warner Brothers to hire me in the future. The Harry Potter movies starred so many great adult actors. What was the relationship like you, uh, between you and the older cast? Were you close with anyone in particular? Not really. As, when I was, as a kid, I had no idea who any of these people were. I just had my mum telling me that Maggie Smith was a huge actress and Richard Harris was a legend. Um, the only one I really was terrified of was uh, Alan Rickman because I knew him from Robin Hood. So I was pretty terrified of him. It took me quite a lot of courage just to say anything more than good morning, Alan, to him, because he's pretty terrifying. I thought Gary Oldman was one of the cleaners at first, because he was so casually just walking around. Uh, yeah, so someone had to tell me that he's playing Sirius Black. But they were all lovely. Helena Bonham Carter was definitely one of my favorites. Um, Jason Isaacs, who plays my dad, I learned a lot from him, so he was very sweet. But honestly, they were all lovely, so I'm very lucky for that. What was the most challenging aspect of taking on the role of Logan in Origin? Well, he's American, for starters, so I had to sort of work on that a little bit. He's a petty drug dealer, so I had to do some petty drug dealing just to get into character. Honestly, the most challenging thing was probably being in Cape Town for seven months. Not that it wasn't beautiful and an amazing place to shoot, but it's a long time to spend away from uh, friends and family. Other than that, it was all swimmingly. What is your first on-set memory from filming the Harry Potter movies? I don't know, I used to stuff a lot of chocolates and sweets inside the robe. And I remember they used to melt and they get stuck in there and then they shouted at me and they got sweets banned from set because of me. What do you think Julian Albert has been up to since he left Star Labs for England? <laughs> Would you return for another season if asked? Yes, absolutely. I think Julian Albert does deserve a comeback episode at least. What's he been up to? Waffling around in England, I suppose, yes. I'm not even sure what the excuse was that they gave for why Julian Albert didn't return, but he's bloody busy in England by the sounds of things. You've released music in the past. Are you planning on releasing more songs and potentially an album? Yes, I am. I'm still recording and still dibbling and daddling with a few, uh, few tunes, and I do hope to make an EP at least or a, or a short album of some sort. I'm not sure when or how or why, but I'm gonna do it at some point, so thank you for your uh, interest. If you could go back and film one Harry Potter movie all over again, which one would it be and why? Bloody good questions, people. I'm enjoying these. <sighs> I don't know, really. I mean, I wouldn't change anything, although I'm sure I balls a lot of it up when I was there. Um, maybe the last one, because it was the longest. A bit more time to soak it all in. Well, I would want to go back, but also I wouldn't want to damage anything further than I already have. Uh, so maybe just the last one. That'd be fun. Does a text thread with you and the rest of the Harry Potter cast exist? Is there anyone who you keep in touch with the most? I think there is. I think there is. Uh, I never answered it. I think I got in trouble with Emma once for, for not paying any... Uh, contribution to that. But there is, but we're all pretty naff with phones, to be honest with you, so I'm not sure how, uh, how up to date it is. Well, Matthew Lewis, young, young Longbottom, he lives around the corner from me, so I see him quite regularly. Um, Bonnie as well, who plays Ginny, she's around, so we, uh, our dogs have hung out a couple times. But we always see each other in one way, shape or form, and uh, so yes, it's always fun to keep in touch with them. What are you hoping audiences take away from Origin? Well, entertainment, for one. I hope you have a bloody good time watching it. But also, it does, ask, it does ask some really poignant questions about what we're doing on this planet, and is there any hope for us on another planet? You took Pottermore's sorting quiz and were sorted into Gryffindor. What would your hybrid house be? I'm definitely a Slivador, I think if that's the correct term. Also, I don't think I'm actually Gryffindor. I tried to lie to the sorting hat by overly going with Slytherin answers, particularly dark, and I think it knew 
So yes, my true house has yet to really be decided. What's your favourite behind the scenes memory with Daniel Radcliffe while shooting the Harry Potter films? Crikey, so many. Um, I don't know, I remember having uh, Simpsons trivia battles with him well in the middle of in between doing Quidditch we used to ask each other pot, uh, Simpsons questions which he was much better at did Draco Malfoy get the ending he thought he deserved in Deathly Hallows absolutely not he should have killed everyone and run off into the sunset no of course it was perfect um, Joe wrote some fabulous stories and I dare not amend them at all thank you the cup is empty thanks for all your lovely questions you're actually much better than most interviewers see you around watch Origin YouTube Premium